Hey gamers, Katsuma Gaming here. Since I have a lot of unedited videos that I just don't have the time to probably polish down, I decided to create the last summon series, which is pretty much just me uploading all my remaining summons videos with less optimizations in there, aka less edits than usual. But that way I can just finally pump them out, get you guys to watch the videos, since there are both summons that I actually showed on live streams as well as some that i never showed before so i really think it's a good way to just get them out so you have something to watch again sorry for the lace of this videos but now you know why you can't find the banners in the game anymore and why it took so long and with that out of the way have fun with the video hey guys katsuma gaming here new banner new time to pull on the jp version of konosuba fantastic days with our newest unit which is by the way a permanent unit yes i'm still pulling for it Yukata Lolisa. And the big reason I want her is not for the kit, which is, to be honest, it's fine, but I don't see her replacing one of the three main physical single target wind units right now. She has a triple hit that provides the team with an EX wind damage boost. By the way, yes, three times hit, but only 134 damage multiplier. So in the end, it's just a bit over um, 400 ish damage. It's still good, don't get me wrong, but like, not an 800% damage skill like for example Aqua has. She has a tier 2 EX rush rate with an HP condition. Again, I still think worse than Aqua's tier 3 rush rate. Of course, she has the buffing ulties, which is great. But the big thing why we want her is the team passive trait she provides. 5% wind damage bonus, non-conditional. Up to 10% if the enemy has a debuff. And this is probably the greatest thing you can have. Because, for example, if you compare it to... The Bunny Union, the water team passive trade unit that we just got a few patches ago, she has an HP condition for the bonus damage. And in the last arena, we didn't have a healer, boss did decent damage, so there was a good chance that one or multiple units could fall below the 70% HP threshold, which is why some people actually opted out to run Union and just use the non conditional 6% or 3% physical damage and 3% wind damage bonus from, for example, Casino Melissa because it was non-conditional you always have the six percent flat and you don't need to worry about your hp threshold whatsoever here the moment you have any kind of debuff on the enemy aka rashford for example defense down magical defense down something like that which is something we normally always have on a team right it's just up and working and you don't need to worry about it whatsoever so a great tool to have for both magical and physical teams because team passive trade damage element of course does not matter fitting for that we have currently a wind arena but it's a physical block arena so we want to use magic units so she doesn't see any kind of use at the moment besides being a team passive trade unit so for that alone i kind of want her but most importantly i want to have a really really strong single target physical team and i think for that i need her as a team passive trade so we have a few options here to do pool we have the normal banner we have some tickets that I'm going to use after the daily single pool. We have the 2k banner, which is the last resort, I think. And we have the step up banner. And yes, I know step up can be scam, but we have a guaranteed four star at the fourth pool. You have the normal rate up, same with the 2k banner. And only in the last pool, you can pay 1000 more for the guaranteed four star, right? So good, good work out in the end. Worst case, we can do one more 2k pull with my pay cores. Afterwards, I would need to top up for more. But to be honest, my plan here is do the pay pulls, use the tickets. And if I don't get her, I will skip her and just pray I pull her in the future off rate. Because we saw it with Union, I just pulled her off rate in the uh, Forbidden Banner Infinite Summons pull. So there is no need to go too hard for her since she's a permanent unit and I really do cut some cuts here. So let's just pray she's nice to us and comes home and let's see if we can get her quick with any 4 star 5 pull tickets or if we need to use some pay cards here. Baby single pull? Nothing. Fine, fine. Just a long loading time which... <laughs> You know, you know me, um, I'm kind of popping off if we have long loading times because there is a chance, right? There's always a chance that it could mean something. So I'm just kind of like, oh, oh, oh. Then like, oh, nothing, okay. That's Leah. skip.
If it's not a Lolisa silhouette, we don't care. Too fast. Oh, let's be honest with you here. If there's no loading time, it's not a Lolisa, so we can just skip it. Be a little bit faster here. Close enough, it, it was Yukata Rin. We're getting the right direction, right? We're getting the right direction. <laughs> Battle Kazuma, and last four star ticket will bring me. Just Chris, okay. Here's the three star tickets as well because they could rank up to a four star, which could result in something good, right? By the way, if you didn't notice, yes, three star tickets can actually result into four stars. It's just guaranteed to be three star or higher. The four star rate is still the same as usual, so the chance of getting it is rather low, but it is possible. And if it happens, it's really, really cool. Oh. No. Nope. OG Darkness. <laughs> hey, that, that was the first pull of the five pull tickets giving me a four star, okay? I cannot complain about that. Sure, it could be the new unit, but let's be real here, the chances are really low, so I'm not I'm not expecting too much here. Would be pleasantly surprised if it actually happens, but I'm not counting on it. I'm just in my mind already if uh, like I, I need to use the pay quads here. Just praying that the game will be nice to me. We also got a rain here. Nice. I'll go to take the shots for her. Claire shots to also take. I think Claire and Rain are like the only units so far where I really, really need some shards and where I'm gladly taking them. All the other units, I don't really care. Just using the shards that I have left each month to exchange them into the five universal shards that I can use them for future collabs. Which, by the way, next month might be the next collab in Shippy. I have no idea yet what it will be, what could it be, but I am for sure hyped because so far most collabs did really, really cool things. I still wait for another collab like the Harry collab that just, you know, tops it even up more. But of course, it's it's rare that it happens again. But if it would happen again, something like that, that would be really cool. We just had the rerun collapse, so I kind of expect something new. I would love Tanya the Evil, but I don't think we get Tanya the Evil until her season 2 comes around. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see what will come. But from now on, it counts. From now on it counts, first 2k multi with raid up. We need 4 stars now! Let's go! That's what I wanna see. Why is it always on the paid step up banners that it's the last pull? And again, there is no guaranteed 4 star here. This is just, it's the last one because... So funny. Let's see. Can we already be done? That would be so hard. We don't even need to go. That's too fast, I think. Yep. Yeah. Ogelia, Sash. Not a four star, please? Nope. Okay. We have one guaranteed four star here. Keep that in mind. One is guaranteed. So, rainbow animation here would not be surprising. But maybe we get two. Maybe we get two. So we have more chances. Please. Nope. Can't. Yeah. Gotcha guts aren't good to me. Nah. Gotcha guts love to, love to troll me. Okay. Not a four star with raid up to get Lisa. Will this be it? Nope. That was too fast. <sighs> two OG units. Of course, it's two OG units and all step up stuff. Ugh.
Can we be done here without top up game? <laughs> oh, of course not, of course not. Well, um, need to grab some quartz real quick. BRB. Okay, top up is done. We have now barely enough to do the remaining two. 2k multis i might need to top up later again for the daily single pulse but again i'm optimistic here that the two remaining multis are all we need to get that lalisa because she will come home with the next multi easy peasy trust pick up pick up oh good pick up or we're just gonna force her anyway Well, <laughs> last multi. Let's see. Let's see. Can we can we snack her or? That's not looking good. Nope. No fake out. No nothing. Well, that's it with the summon session. That's it with the summon session. Um, I used more than I wanted to. She didn't come home. I am not not pulling a null banner. I'm not down to Rosh Kids Reach PD for a permanent unit. So yeah, let's just pray and hope that either we get some more uh, Forza tickets, five pull tickets, something like that, or that she will be nice to me and come home with baby single pulls. But yeah, that's it for the summer session. Still hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, follow for more content. See y'all in the next one. Bye. The next day.